It's Monday, the week ahead. It is. Hey, how are Morning, you doing, Vincent? Hey. All I right. Keyword for today. Uh, Keyword for today. Well, let's see. We're going to talk about this uh, this whole anti Occupy Central peace and love democracy referendum stuff going on. Mm. So let's have a bit of a chat, and maybe we can pick a word out of that. Mm. So today, uh, campaigning. The campaigning. Yeah, they stepped up the uh, the campaign today. Anybody that's picked up a newspaper, seen a big ad by the uh, their, their Peace and Democracy Day for the anti-Occupy uh, Central people. And, uh, man, I mean, these guys are well-funded. I mean, these guys are splashing money around like crazy. Uh, mm-hmm. Lots and lots of money for this thing. And now I think people have seen they're going to have this big August 17th run for democracy. What, no, what are they calling it? A flower for peace and democracy, a walk for peace and democracy, and a run to Central. I'm thinking maybe they're going to have the run to see, you know, who are the good foot soldiers, right? All the old people can go on the walk, and then let's see if they got some good, you know, young fit foot soldiers to come out and fight, <laughs> fight the fight the anti-violence battle. So, but it's strange. the The slogan is "You have 12 hours." Yeah, I mean that was a little confusing because I saw that and I thought I got 12 hours. Like what from now? But they mean on the 17th. Uh, which unfortunately I'm going to be out of town for. Be be interesting to cover it, but I mean, you know. Bad English. Yeah, yeah, the copy was not great. But I mean, there's, there's some other little bits and pieces in there that are... I mean, you can say you way. have 12 hours left? Yeah, well, that's, that's, a yeah, different that's, message. What, that's what I thought when I saw it. And then yeah. I go, well, what are they talking about? You, you know? count down to something, then you have yeah, 12 hours yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But exactly. actually, you have 12 hours in... Uh, on like in a couple of weeks. On the 17th of August. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the whole thing was a little bit, a little bit confusing. But I don't understand. What the whole thing is? Yeah, but no, I mean, I mean, uh, flower for peace and democracy. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, that's quite okay. Yeah, but still, it's strange. Yeah, because you don't say a flower for peace and democracy. Yeah, you present a bouquet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're gonna have everybody for, walking around for for the campaign. Yeah. Walk for peace and democracy. Quite okay. That's all right. Yeah, but run to central. Yeah, that's a little. Strange too. It's just. A I mean, thing. run for central. Yeah. Walk for democracy. Run to protect central. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's you okay, know. but. But you know, the, these guys are. Spot- so would yeah. you run to central? The the question is it. Would you run to central? Yeah, you know, just because. No, I mean, it's at the bottom of a page, which is all about this whole. But, but that's just strange. Would What's you that? run to central? <clears throat> yeah. Would you take the MTR? I mean, you you. <laughs> <laughs> MTR to central. You the, know. The the, the essence of campaigning. Yeah. Is. Good copy and good slogan. Well, getting the message across, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, but what's funny about this is, uh, I think a lot of people have, you know, kind of assumed that there's not many supporters within the English-speaking community for this anti, you know, kind of the, they call themselves the for democracy, but a lot of people perceive them as not <sighs> being such. But you know, when I talk to older people, whether they're people, you know, old, long-term expats that have been here, there's actually quite a bit of support for this. I've met, you know, kind of septuagenarian successful business people, and they're like, I'm going to sign that thing. Like uh, not I, on the I record. I know, I know. Yeah. I mean, uh, a lot of people support, but that doesn't mean that you can have bad copy. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna see. I that agree. It's gonna lose. It's gonna lose credibility. I mean, with those I, people. But yeah. I think. I support um, this anti-Occupy Central movement. Okay. But I hate bad copy. Bad copies. Yeah. And, and the whole yeah. campaigning is just plain silly. Yeah, I I believe that occupying yeah. central would not lead to an answer. Yeah, it, okay. it will just yeah. be a politic. Is it will be another political campaign? That's, that's why I do not support it. Yeah. yeah, okay. That's why I reject it. Yeah, but still. Yeah, I mean for the for the anti guy, I mean, can they do a better job? Well, I mean, it, it, the amount of money they have, you think they can? It's so embarrassing it. now. Yeah. If you tell people, yeah. in central basically, yeah. mm-hmm. that you support anti occupy central. Yeah, <laughs> just you know, do it right. Yeah, that's what you're right. saying. Yeah, yeah. Now, especially because they're trying to get overseas support now. They're following in the wake of Martin Lee and Anson Chan, and these guys have gone now to San Francisco and they're campaigning in the U.S. Um, you know, if that audience matters to them, they can spend a couple of bucks and get somebody who's a native speaker to just do a quick check. You know, which is true for a lot of organizations in Hong Kong. Keyword for today. Yeah, campaigning. Campaigning. If you're gonna do it, do it right. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Vincent.